I'm actually gonna, I, I'm gonna start with the uh, setups for Hessing. Basically, you wanna be as far away from the bomb, so it doesn't say grab, because you'll grab it like this, and you gotta roll into it. And there's a setup to get in position so you don't do that, which is uh, bomb, shield, roll, backflip. Now you can Hess. But uh, you gotta make sure that Link isn't in the state of side roll, because when you backflip, Link wants to naturally side roll like this. So you can either fix by fix that by untargeting and retargeting, or by shield flicking, which is just tapping R. Uh, so you can bomb, shield, roll, backflip, shield flick, and then there's like. Three steps to a Hess, which is the distance from the bomb, uh, rolling at the correct time, ESS, which is extended super side position, and Z and R, which I guess is more than three steps. But it's just a lot of inputs to do at once, which is why this is hard for people to get down at first. But you get used to it. Um, so. You wanna Link wants to be uh, midway through his rolling animation while the bomb is exploding. So something like this would be too early because he wasn't. He was the bomb wasn't exploding by the time he was rolling, and this would be too late if he took damage. That's too late. Um. So it's it, it's a timing that you'll get used to eventually, and it'll become really easy. So you can do the setup, and then roll while it's about to explode. And you want to pause, but you'll probably want to pause before to learn this trick. So during the roll, hold ESS position. I'm gonna assume you know what that is if you're learning the Hess, and then. I'm going to show you the frames at which you can hold Z and R. This is the frame before it. Where Link kind of looks, he's like arching a little bit. And this is the first frame that he's in the explosion. I would like to note something about uh, the explosion and Link being in it. You cannot enter an explosion Link will be recoiled by the explosion if you're not giving any input. Which means if you roll and then you hear an analog stick is neutral, then Link will just be pushed out of the explosion immediately. If you're holding an input, then Link will be pushed into the explosion. So you have to be holding ESS position, otherwise he won't be in the explosion. And you want to press Z and R at the same time on the frame that you can has. Most of the time there's three frames you can has. This is first. And that's third. That's what I mean most of the time. Sometimes you only have two frames. I'm not sure why. But it's definitely possible to have three uh, frames of explosion. Alright, three frames of ZNR. So, roll once it starts flashing quickly. Or a little back after it starts flashing quickly. If you roll right as it starts flashing quickly, it's going to be too early. Again, you'll get used to that timing. Roll, hold ESS. This is second frame of Hess. You hold, and during unpause like you can hold Z and R and you should get it. And if you need to, you can switch from ESS left to ESS right to change the way that Link moves. You can also get used to doing it unbuffered, which is faster. Um, there's another setup you can do to get the distance from the bomb. No, there's two more actually. Which is basically the same thing as before, just kind of in reverse. You do a backflip before roll instead of a roll backflip, so it looks like this. And, uh... That's essentially the same thing except uh, the inputs are reverse. 
And there's also a backwalking Hess, which is... Uh, that takes the most practice out of any of them, but it's also the fastest. Because you're moving while you have the bomb exploding. I'm gonna like, attempt to kind of teach you how I, I look at this. Although it might be hard because I mostly do it off a of feeling. The most important thing when you do a backwalk is your distance from the bomb has to be pretty good. Otherwise it won't work. Um, so it's you're backwalking at full speed, and when the bomb starts flashing quickly, is what I look at. I drop it, and then I wait till I see Link's shield come up. That was that was way too far because I wasn't doing it in real time. But I wait till quick flashes, and then I wait till I see Link's shield come up like this. And then uh, the timing for the roll is going to be muscle memory. I can't really help you there. It's that's just going to take a lot of practice. Uh, but mostly the distance from the bomb is going to be pretty hard to get down. I still have trouble with the bombs and the uh, distance from the bomb sometimes. And then you go to the correct frame. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is specifically, this will happen, a front uh, extended super slide. If you press Z and R late or early, it's actually something that can happen with either of them. Or a late roll can happen too. Let's see if I can do this with the late roll. Like that. So that's something to keep in mind. This is a... This will happen a lot probably when you're starting out this learning Hessing. Uh, don't get too discouraged by it. Just keep practicing. That was an early roll. That's what will happen if you have an early roll. Link will kind of shudder left and right. Because the roll wasn't in the right part of the animation for him to press the NR. Um, that's pretty much all the information about a Hess I can give. Again, there's uh, I don't really know the specific circumstances, but there are three Hesses, three DNR frames, sometimes of DNR. This is second frame. Oh. Well, I'm going to mention one last thing about it, is that if first frame Hesses, first frame and second frame Hesses give you a different angle. So this is going to be almost perfectly straight. And then second frame Hess would be angled a little bit. Because Link moves, or he turns, depending on which Hess frame you get. So that's just something to note. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Alright, I'll highlight that.